Let's, let's go walk around and see all the mistakes. <clears throat> Which I already took pictures of a lot of stuff. Um, facial down here is crooked. So we got a lot of stuff on photos, so I'll just go straight to the point of where I'm, I'm looking at on the top of the ridge. <clears throat> Pretty much most of the rafters was installed wrong, which gives the problem. start looking here you got boards that's broken also when it was installed it needs to be replaced can look down this ridge you see that it's not straight at all seeing it here go down down then this one is back up you see this ridge is actually up a lot of spots right here Do not line up. <clears throat> the ridge is all one, two, three, four, pretty much this whole line is not lined up all the way down. So, this is not a plywood problem. This is a rafter problem installed incorrectly. You see the stress that's coming up in between the two pieces of plywood here because the rafter is sticking up. <clears throat> so can stand here and even look down we can see the bump the bumpy and the waves in the plywood this whole side of this roof so this one side is wrong then the other side the back of it of the a-frame is also sitting wrong Meaning up and down, some I moved too far into the CMU block wall, which pushes it on one side to go further out to the exterior of the CMU block wall. About like, like, um, maybe like an inch. I seen some, which I have pictures of, that's hanging out from the rafter end tail of the roof. <laughs> so, you see down this way. Wavy because none of them are in line, they are not playing together. And you can definitely see this whole rafter 
in this area is sticking out too far and we have holes in two areas here that that needs to be replaced so once again this is not a plywood decker um first problem this was an existing problem before the plywood started on the roof so as you can see this here is not installed correctly neither this outlooker is wrong a lot of uh, shiners what we call shiners and there's a lot of that on this roof right now which I also have pictures of okay coming back down coming back down problem here is you have two different things going on you have a double plate in one area double top plate in one area and a single plate in another area all this is done previous before I got here so you see as it jumped back up on a two by four which makes it an inch and a half above that bottom plate so this is the reason why we have these issues of the roof waving, bumping, and not in line or in plane with one another, which this is the area that should have been taken care of at first also, um, which that was relayed to my sub, which never done it. Yeah. So as you can see, this is not lined up. None of this double um, truss here is lined. So 